Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine tutorial that will show you how to quickly and easily create a material that has two different sides. The same process is really easy and really simple, so this is clearly a beginner tutorial, but still this is something that can be immensely helpful in your world building, level building phase. So as you probably know, the process of adding materials to your game world includes basically creating that material or having it already and dragging and dropping it to the same static mesh. In this case we're going to create a simple 2D plane, a flat plane that will have two different sides. One side will be of one color and one side will be of another while the same is produced by a single material instance. So we won't use two but just one. So to do that I'm first going to make a new folder that is going to be called two sided material TSM and here I'm going to create the same material and create two sides for it. So I'm going to right click and choose material that I'm going to call T again TSM two sided material and I'm going to double click on it. And here we have the basic empty material and first what I need to do is to create two different colors. To do that simply hold the keypad 3, number 3 and left click and here you have your first node and do the same by simply copying, copy pasting the first one. So let's go for the color here as you can see the constant is the color picker. And we can go, for example, for, uh, let's say, purple. So we're going to use a deep purple. Uh, don't be confused by the fact that it's not switching to purple here. It needs a few seconds depending on your computer, but it's going to change. And for the other, and here it is, for the other, let's go for, I don't know, let's say yellow. And let's take some kind of a golden goldish yellow this too will take a few seconds with these two we need to get a node that basically combines these into what is going to be the base color why we can do that directly we can use the lerp node and combine them along with an alpha which we're going to use after that but first let's combine these two by simply holding down the l key on your keyboard and left clicking and here you have its slurp a b and alpha you know that probably or you might not know that lerp is exceedingly useful when you want to combine two different textures into a singular material that's pretty cool as well you can find that youtube tutorial on my channel link is going to be in the description below it's pretty hefty pretty nifty pretty cool and just as simple as this one you'll see so we're going to use the first one for A, the second one for B. Again, don't be confused by the changes in these previews. And the last thing we need is an alpha and we're going to use that to find drag and drop and search for two sided sign. It's a pretty strangely named but pretty adequately named uh, node that is here. Again, don't mind the preview. And we have the setup ready for the two-sided sign. We just need to connect it to the base color. And the last thing we need to do is to make sure that this base color under the material is two-sided. Here you have the material, the drop the menu material. You have the two-sided option that you need to check. Again, all of this is messing up with your preview. Again, that's normal and that's okay. But in this case, you have the two-sided option ready to go. And basically your two-sided material is now set and prepared for its introduction into the game world. I'm going to save it. It's going to take a few seconds for it to be ready. And after that, I'm going to place it, drag and drop it onto a static mesh in this case a 2d plane in my world we're going to move this and dock it next to my game to add that 
to the plane we can simply take the plane from place actors you can see it here a static mesh of a plane we're adding to the game world but it's really tiny so we're going to rotate it a bit like this and we're going to enlarge it like this so it's better visible you can see immediately these cool reflections coming up and here it is my plane so if I zoom to it you can see one side where I can add a normal texture but the other side in transparent and there's nothing there I will now add my two-sided material here but don't forget you need to do it on the side that is visible otherwise you will simply add the same texture the same the material sorry to the floor or the sky or anything else the Unreal Engine basically sees this as empty space with nothing in there so you need to go like this and add it here and here it is we have the yellow side and on the other side we have the purple one and that's pretty cool because it's the same plane but now with two different sides all of which is visible as I'll show you right now in the game as well and I'm going to fly next to it here you see the reflection is purple and I'm going to fly around the other side and here is the yellow side as well so both of these are present and that's pretty pretty cool and pretty easy as you saw from my video so there you have it again a super simple script here it is a super simple edit of the material it uses only the lerp and the two-sided sign which is a super easy note to remember because hey it's two-sided get it so hopefully you found this useful hopefully you can apply it to your project as well thanks so much for watching this unreal engine beginner tutorial video if you're a first time viewer please consider subscribing leaving a like and leaving a comment if you have something to ask me or tell me also don't forget to check out my other unreal engine videos besides that there are a bunch of ways you can support my channel all of them are in the description below if you want to do that hey that would be really amazing and i'm grateful already that's all for me thank you so much again for watching this clip my name is ivica i'll see you on my next unreal engine tutorial video and until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine projects Bye-bye.